are you? It is Thursday evening, almost exactly 5 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> and I'm here to bring you Craft Every Day, Day 10, May 10th. And um, all right, let me just jump in. What I made was six Memory Dex cards. Um, I don't know why six, I just got started. This is the first one that I did which, um, well, I got started on memory decks because I need two for two different challenges, one, one each. And so I thought, well, why don't I just make some extras? So anyway, this is the first one and probably one of my two favorites. Um, okay, well, let me stop a minute. The paper on all of them was from this Recollections Spring Dream paper pad which is gorgeous I love it and you can see these are the various papers they are um, single-sided and I do have scraps left and I have I tried to use just the paper some of the cut aparts um, 110 pound white card stock to back them with and this paper pad had already been used before so I'm down to one two three four full sheets and then the rest is scrap so and I use two pieces of white cardstock but I have this much of the second piece left I'm going to raise you up just a little bit here sorry um so okay back to which one this is the first one that I made and I had a specific person in mind for this one um, and I probably will still continue and basically the paper has like this lacy doily part so I thought well I'll just put a piece of doily on <coughs> excuse me also up here which I did this is one of the cut aparts and I bumped it up on um, the foam tape mounting tape this stuff from uh, I think I got that at Dollar Tree and then these are actually Jolie's. They're from a pack I got it Tuesday morning. I love this butterfly. It's like almost translucent. I wish I had like a whole ton of them. But anyway. And then this was out of the same pack. And I bumped them up so that they'd be overlapping the center. Uh, the little flower I just that was from the same pack I just glued down. And then this is stencil with the um, Nouveau Glimmer Paste, Glitter Paste, Glimmer Paste, and gold to bring out the gold in this. And that's it. That's what I did. And I don't have a punch for these. I made them all by hand. So I cut the papers, then I cut the cardstock. To four by four is what I started with. I used my envelope punch board. I'm I'm sorry, one two three punch board, and I used instructions I had gotten when I participated in a challenge by Julie K. Uh, paper play with Julie K. Hers was for memory decks, and let me just see. I believe. Scrap the World um, had a video from May 31, 2017 that she had linked to on how to make a memory dex card without a die tutorial, I believe, or Scrap Diva 29 did, I forget, somebody that I was either going to participate in or did participate in, that's where I got the instructions from Scrap the World video May 31, 17 tells you um you know how to do the center tabs um the left and right tabs as well as do the holes at the bottom so that was very helpful i, I wrote all these notes see i wrote all these notes down <laughs> and i saved that because i figured i'll have to do it again and sure enough i'm doing it again so anyway that was the first one um the first two are both right hand tabs and so they're four square up to the top of the tab so it'd be like um, three and a three and three quarter otherwise this one 
is um, a little different. It's this white with gold foil paper. But what I did is I took Distress Stain and sponge sugar and went over it. Uh, not everywhere, but most of it. So in de varying degrees of light pink. So it's not stark white. Um, but then I didn't like just having this against the background so I thought what could I do and I was laying out different laces to put in the background and I just really wasn't liking any of them so when I was digging through my laces I came across this big roll of crepe paper that's what I put down I um I mod podged it down and then I put the this up on um I cut a square piece of fun foam just not all the way so that when you look under it it's not white it's and it's not quite as bumped up as that other stuff I showed you a minute ago and I'm getting my arm and stuff um, and this is out of the um, cut aparts then I punched a green leaf out of the green paper that's in the paper pad this green in the middle there um, and these flowers were part of um, this tube of Prima flowers. Some are cloth and some are paper. So I just layered three of them. And then I put a medium size one of these bead landing flat backs, uh, pink pearls. And then I put four big ones going across the top. And that is about it. That's what I did. Oh, and I edged it in. Uh, I think I edged the first one in this too, the gold um, medium paint marker by Sharpie, that one. So that is the second one. Then the third one, I was kind of getting tired of doing pink. So um, I did something a little different. Um, let me show you the paper first. The paper, ooh, maybe... I don't know if I can... Yeah, here. The paper was more just like... Um, sort of a watercolor. It has sort of like blue purple into the pinks over here on the whole sheet. Well, I decided it was too blah. And so I pulled out a white doily and I pulled out this uh, tat Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in the... they don't ever have the color names on here. Um, but it's like a purple anyway and I just spritzed it and then of course I wanted gold but my gold one doesn't spray and I rinsed out the thing and everything I can't get it to spray but it does do little droplets so I did that I did little droplets and then I still was just not figuring out what to do so I had this washi this one here I don't know if you can see it there sort of purpley blue with rose gold on it which didn't exactly match but it sort of goes all right and I put that down the side here and then I lay I laid a piece of this um, lace um, heart trim that I think I got it Tuesday morning but I don't know it doesn't really say that on there I don't know where I got this it says simplicity five ninety nine each but I doubt I paid that for it anyway and then I felt like this um, this matched, but it was too much purpley blue on blue. And I really liked it because it had like a picture of a doily over here. So I decided to take a piece of the um, this paper to bring out the gold and put a little banner behind it. And that's what I did. I glued it onto the banner. I bumped it up on the foam squares. This little flower was another one out of the Prima tube. And then I, I actually had two loose little beads laying here on my desk that spilled the other day. And I had found them on the floor, so I picked them up, put them on my desk and until I put them away. Well, I put the first one on and I decided I didn't like it. So I put the next one on, which was green. And then I thought, well, I have this green dragonfly, so I'll just do that and bring out a little pop of other color. Oops. And I just stuck my finger in gold, um, 
glitter glue, which or platinum glitter glue, which is still drying. I did put the platinum glitter glue here, as well as a few different dots besides the gold glimmer stuff. Anyway, that is the third one. I don't, do you guys like me telling you how I make things or no? Because I don't know. Maybe it makes it too long and you just rather see them. Let me know in the comments below. This one, I think I was getting tired. <laughs> so I kept it kind of simple. Um, and all I did was take two strips of washi, which were the swans you can't see which were these swans. They're sort of a ombre, pink and bluey green with rose gold. So these are out of a tube, Recollections tube, called Serenity, which I actually had the paper to match too, but I didn't use that today. And then these two were cut apart. This says best day ever. I left the little area to put a word or something in blank until I know who I'm sending it to. And then I just put, I have these pearl uh, trims, and this one's getting low, so I'm trying to use it. Um, and I hot glue that down twice because it wasn't staying. And that's all I did to that one. And I did, I believe I did on this one, um, used my um, art glitter glue to glue the ends of the washi down so that it will stay down. So that is the third one. Fourth one, excuse me. Oh, and on um, and on this one, I also used this um, shimmer spray in Sparkle. It's not frost; it's Sparkle. And these are by uh, ImagineCrafts.com. And I got it online, and I can't remember where I got it online, but I did. Okay. And this says the most amazing memories of that blue purple one. Then the next one I did was this one. And this is the, you know, the gold with pink and white paper. I wanted to keep it simple but give it some dimension. And um, so I had this cut apart, which I rounded the edges on. I had this little piece of doily left over from the first one I did. Um, and I had a piece of the paper that, um, this one, and I put that behind there and I thought, well, it looked okay, but it didn't have any texture. I was lacking texture. So again, I put that paper down, but then I put another piece of the cray paper over it and I think it, it definitely adds something to it. Then I took six of the big pearls and just put them on that strip on either end. And then these two stickers came out of a pack I got at uh, Recollections. And honestly, um, after I put them on, I didn't like it, but it would it would have torn to pull them back up. But that was out of this, uh, just says themed Recollections. Basically everything coming up rose is kind of themed. Looks like that. I've used it a couple times already, and that's a fairly recent purchase, not, you know, new, new, but anyway, it says live the life you love. And so that's that one. And then the last one <laughs> is my least favorite, um, but I don't know. And I use this green paper that has like um, leaves, but flowers, like outlines of flowers in it. And it was really green, and I made it even more green because I I couldn't figure out what to do, how to get started. The um, the cut aparts ha that had green on them, it just I don't know. I needed to it was some, something. It was too much. But I did use. I went. I decided to use a technique I've done before and just lay down washi, alternating this this butterfly one that Judy just gifted me and this gold one so i just laid diagonal strips across of the washi which then i had to recut out the little bottom piece um, holes um and then i put the two of the cut aparts down i had originally picked out three this one here that says lovely and this one 
Um, and then I just felt like it was too green still, so I laid these little flowers down, which were paler green, different shades of green, but paler. Um, and also some of the little white iridescent bead landing pearls. And then I, I was looking all over, I was looking for my word beads that I just bought, and I can't find. <laughs> and I know they're here, but uh, yeah, the house, this room is a disaster. And I need to clean and it's terrible but since I need to craft every day in May I can't take time to clean it right now anyway I found in searching for those I did not find them but I did find a pack of resin pieces um, where are they from those are uh, Prima and I don't know where I got them but they're fairly recent also, I think. Anyway, um, but of course I couldn't leave that alone. So I put some gold stickles in the center and I wish I had just stopped at the center because then I started trying to do the petals and then I, it, it wasn't enough. So then I did more of the petals and I don't know. I think I should have just left it white with a gold center. <laughs> but anyway, that's what it is. And that is the last one. So that is my um, Craft Every Day in May, hosted by Jan's Crazy Life. And um, uh, there are 38 of us, including me. Um, and some of them are on, most of them are on YouTube, but there's a few that are only on either Instagram or Facebook group. And Jan's got that all laid out for us. It's below the video. So please go check out the others. We're not all posting at a set time or even a set day. Um, you know, some of us are posting every couple days or once a week um, as we can because doing these videos takes a bit of time. But um, today I'm posting, I posted day eight and nine. I worked on these all day pretty much, you know, a good part of the day. And um, so I wanted to get them done and out and then I have to work on some other things after I run some errands. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll um, put pictures at the end as well as hopefully on my Instagram if I remember to upload them there before I take them off my phone. Have a wonderful evening, morning, night, weekend. <laughs> and I'll talk to you as soon as I can. Alright, hugs, love, and peace. Bye for now.